Oh, let's go ahead and make a new project. We'll call this TCP client tutorial. Yes. Um, we'll just make a text box again and a button. Same as before. Make it a bit wider. Properties. Click on the button. We'll call that connect. Go B connect under the name. And then in the text view, let's change it to multi-line first. Where's that? Multi-line true. We'll just leave it called textbox1. Keep it nice and simple. Save the project. Double click. Alright. Uh, double click the button and we want to go once again do our imports using system.net.sockets using system.net using system.io using system.threading Alright, let's go. Thread. M thread equals new thread. New thread start. And let's go connect. Connect as client. M thread dot start. Private void connect as client let's go ahead and make a TCP client just call it client equals new TCP client Client dot connect. Uh, now, I'm not sure if we can just go. I'm um, just chucking IP address any again here, but let's go to IP address dot parse and go and go ahead and give it your local IP address. So go to CMD IP config. Here it is here 192.168.1.5. So go ahead and check that yourself. 192.168.1.5 and our port. So in our TCP server, we went in here and made the port 5004. So let's do the same again and client dot get stream network stream stream equals let's go stream dot write make a string s equals hello from client encoder encoding dot ASCII dot get bytes pass it the string first just to make it easier so go byte array message equals s I'll go message 
and then write message dot length and then we'll go ahead and close the stream client dot close close the client sorry um, do we have to close the stream let's do it anyway so should open up stream send a wee message and close uh, obviously if you want to do further communication you would do a loop uh, handle some other jazz there but we're just making this pretty simple just to get the, the basics of what's going on here let's also output a message to the user interface so let's go update UI this is a method I like to use string s Let's go oh, sorry. Void. So let's go function int call it del equals delegate. Invoke Why is this coming up like that? Turn zero. Uh, now we'll go text box one dot text. Let's go append text actually. Uh, S plus system dot environment dot new line so we can just go here and go update UI connected and then we'll go yes update UI message sent and let's copy this method over to our TCP server oh that's not that TCP server and Let's go update UI listening update UI connected and in here let's go stream dot read so we'll read that message from our client byte array message equals new byte array let's make that 1024 go message 0 message dot link And then update the UI with the message. So let's go new message. Encoding again. Dot ASCII dot get string message. And let's close the stream. Go stream dot close m client dot close. And let's run that and see what happens. All right.
right, open up the client, run that. So first things first, we need to start the server. It wants permission from the firewall. And then we connect to the server. The message is sent. Actually, it's sent, did, did. And obviously the server received it, closed down. We can do this with images, um, files, all kinds of shit. Hopefully that's got you on a good start to getting your TCP server working. Thank you, thank you very much.